Welcome back to my channel. This is a quick update video on my truck. Uh, it's another fuel mileage and regeneration update. So my last update was I think in November. Well, it's December. And uh, for the month of December, my highest fuel mileage uh, record on date, uh, date on record or whatever is uh, right here. So I got 23.9 miles to the gallon on the 13th of December. I drove 175 miles. It was all highway, and I filled up 7.3 gallons of fuel, which gave me 23.9. You could, I guess, round it up to 24 miles to the gallon, uh, and that's really good. So a lot of in the green for the month of December. And um, let's go down here. So the overall average for the entire time I've had the truck so far, you know, I've had the truck. I put uh, 8,975 miles on the truck. I've used 464 gallons of fuel. Or right, that's how much I put in, um, used whatever. That gave me 19.3 miles to the gallon. I spent a thousand, a little over a thousand dollars on fuel, and the total mileage in regen was 276 miles. So 276 miles may seem like a lot, but it's really not. So 276 out of 8,975 is 0.03%. So that means the other 99.7% of the time, my truck is not in regen. Truck's only in regen 0.03% of the time. That's not bad. And I don't even know if my math is correct, but I think so. But whatever. I'm sure some keyboard warrior would be, will correct that or whatever. Um, anyways, uh, truck... Again, regens every 500 miles. It's very predictable. I can predict when it's when my next regen is, so I can ensure that I'm always on the highway. Um, or if it does happen, I'm in some kind of mixed driving situation, but I'm on the highway when it occurs. Before I do something else that's like in the city or requires me to go, you know, stop, go, stop, go, kind of, tra kind of like traffic. Uh, so I really appreciate that of these 2020s that I can accurately predict when it's going to go into regen. Um, something also to know, I stopped using Hot Shots Secret Everyday Diesel Treatment. Why? Because when I started using it, I noticed that my total miles in regen started to go up. So I started adding Hot Shot Di Diesel, Hot Shots Secret Everyday Diesel Treatment on the 20th of November. My regen mile, my total miles in regen started to increase. 16 is normal. 17, okay, that's I've seen it before one time before that. But then it went to 18, and then suddenly on the 4th of December, my truck was in region for 20 miles. That's a lot. Not as much as like my 19 Ford, but I was like, hmm, that's, that's interesting. So I stopped using Hot Shots EDT immediately. Then my total miles in region started to drop. 17, 18 went up one point, but one mile, but it started to drop last few days. 16 miles in region, and then today it regened, and it was in region for 15 miles. So that's interesting. I don't know if I, I really don't know if EDT is affecting the regen time. Um, I might try try to use it again and we'll see. We'll test it. But oh man, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it's very interesting. So um, but yeah, so my next anticipated regen is going to be at 9,303 miles is when I'm anticipating the next regen. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Um, I will do a 10,000 mile update video soon because I'm getting really close to that. Uh, but yeah, so and keep in mind this truck, um, I just want something. I just want to mention something. If you're not monitoring your regen status or your parameters in your truck, you're not going to know your truck's in regen. Truck's not going to tell you unless it's an emergency and the DPF is so clogged, it'll tell you to go drive to clean the system out. If you just drive it normally, you'll be fine. And normal for me is I, I use this truck to I drive it to work. I do very short trips on base, like sometimes one to like two minute trips, like just down the road, right? All day long. And I use this truck to go get food. I go to the grocery store. I go to the parts store. I go to Walmart. I do what I got to do on the weekend, you know? Uh, but I do a lot of highway driving too. Right, that's that's when I do all my regen. I try. I I always ensure that when my when I when I come up to a regen, I'm I'm typically on the highway. Uh, if it is during a mixed driving situation, I'm I'm always on the highway when it goes into regen. But anyways, um, 
I've had no issues, no emissions related issues. Um, truck hasn't blown up on me, so you know, knock on wood, right? But uh, right. Uh, but anyways, truck's doing really well. I'm very happy with the truck. Uh, and yeah, uh, would I do it again? Yeah, I think I would. So I missed the Ram a little bit, but the Ford definitely has some advantages, uh, like the keypad on the side of the door. I love that feature. It's a great feature. Wish I wish Ram had that, but whatever. So anyways, uh, and the truck says made in the USA, and I love that as well. So anyways, there you go. Hope this is helpful and informative. And please share this video. Use this video to prove to people that you can get over 20 miles a gallon. Just don't drive like an idiot, and you can do it. So anyways, there you go.